in my version of paganism and my practice of my faith, which is the foundation for my life, balanced today and every day from the past seven years and the years going forward, is my version of using a pendulum, what I have coined the term of a faith fob, to make it a little bit more easy for Christendom to grasp that I'm a basically a technologically savvy and a master proficiency or proficient, I should say, pendulum professor of dowsing. Dowsing is an old type of technology that some people would call the access to energy, but I prefer to call accessing my angels that are around you. One of my programs is the angels around us. And openly I try to teach people who are curious about God, like me, who are looking for help and answers to important questions in life, like me, how to access the authority of the Lord by getting the Lord above to allow his angels to guide me or to not see me harmed. As a result of my faithful practice, every aspect and every decision of my life is fully 100 percent submitted to the lord meaning i don't physically get up and move unless god says it's time to go i don't physically take a poo unless god says it's time to go or it's time to throw i don't physically choose anything to eat for me unless my angel says that would be good for your cellular health today and openly, I don't purchase any food that's going to harm my body in any way. In life and in death, we have angels around us. The archangel of our communication and personality style and our profession, technically in the future adult part of our life, is assigned to us by our Lord Father in heaven. Our Divine Mother has some access and ability to do that, but that is not a part of her responsibilities between that Divine Architectural Couple. Lord God, the Father of all Makers, in other words, the Father of uh, the Quakers, and the Fathers of every human being, assigns the Archangel. Now, some programs on YouTube will say there's only seven, and that's a lie. Most of us in the metaphysical spiritual realm or the New Age movement, which is really sort of a dumbfounded term for it all, know that there's a good 16 at least. At least we find that a lot in literature. But in truth, there's a lot more than that than you just can't see. There are some people who have done a very good study at the Vatican, and the Catholics really do hold the history of that. They know a hell of a lot about angels. They know a hell of a lot about spirit guides. They know a hell of a lot about demons. They know a hell of a lot about prophets. And the reality in life is that we need to do things right. To do things right, we need to stop thinking in selfish terms and we have to start thinking in sort of angelic realms. If I do this, will God be pleased with me? If I do this, will I be making my deity happy with me? If I choose this path, what will be the result for me? And openly, the magic of God and the magic of Jesus is accessed through a pendulum for me. I've had more magical experiences, both when I had a fully paid for business vehicle before it was stolen from me by local law enforcement and ruined by a sheriff's department, as well as my own walking difficulties to move myself across the state line to get out of the abuse of people that I both once knew and people that I don't know. Unfortunately, some of that abuse moved with me. But the reality is that I access my angels who are authorized by the Lord Most High to give me advice about the challenging and unchallenging questions of my daily life. What should I do today is often one of those questions. How can I honor my Lord today is one of those questions. Is it time to take a poo today is one of my questions. Because when you live in poverty and live in homelessness, it's not always safe to take that potty break. 
because of the people and communities that have no regard for indigency and no concept of what it feels like for you or for me. People who live above the poverty line are also quite vile about those of us who are below the poverty line and I just sometimes laugh because despite my challenge with finances and the ruining of my bank account by relatives that openly I'm pretty peaceful and content until some person of satanic force steps into my world and tries to take advantage of me in ill-gotten, ill-willed ways. 